what they are going to pick and when they are going to switch, right? Holtec has the choice of going Cole, which is also not too bad into Cloud. We will probably not that good of a choice in terms of, at least if we compare it to Cole and Bayonetta. Oh, and Holtec starting off. He still has his double jump. And oh, and he has SD's. Wow, okay, that is one way to start the game. Like, it looked in favor of Oltec for a second, but it seems like Oltec has deed. Well, then lands with an unsafe there, eats a punish for that, 37% already. And here we see the platform pressure from Cloud going full force into Bayonetta. Oltec has now to watch out for the limit. Oh! Uh -huh. Li Limit Saipi now kills from the side of Battlefield. Of course, the ledge is always a kill now if he hits it. Another option that he has right now is Limit Uppy out of shield, which now kills Bayonetta with the amount of weight he has. So if she does an unspaced Nair or Bear, that is going to be death for her. Oh, nice SDI by Purple Age. Mm. He came in with the Jenny Hen Hendrix DI. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, wrong direction. He tried to go for a B reverse there, but he messed it up a little bit. Again, Oltec showing what he likes to do with Bayonetta. Oh, he messed it up like right there. Anyway, he likes to come back to ledge with drop down from the ledge and side B, and that nair is taking him out at 140% at the side. The first SD for Oltec showing a very bad momentum for him. Oh, off the top, no up B kill. Oltec left with one stock, and Purple H has still all three stocks. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look too good for Oltec. Oh, we tried uh, to go. There he goes again. Yep. Here comes the platform pressure. Up air into up air. Forward air. Uh, no, forward throw. Not going to kill quite yet. Okay, he has to use his limit now. Whoa. Oh. Okay, he messed up the timing a little bit. Like he saw Purple Age coming down with a second hit of the up but he messed up the timing quite a bit. Oh, down tilt, up smash. Classic. Okay, first stock for Otek. Mm hmm. Let's see what he's going to do on the second stock. Like he needs to bring this back. And the best wing way to bring this one back is, of course, a Bayonetta combo. And this might start it all. Nope. This one might start it all. Oh, Adot is out of that one. That combo was not really truly connecting. Oh, grounded side piece. Something Bayonetta players like to do sometimes when they have nothing else to do. Oh, okay, wow. Purple H has limit. And now it's scary for Otek. He has to watch out. Mm -hmm. He's nearing the percent where Limit Side B, yep, Limit Side B is now dead it is. And there it is, and first game goes to Purple H. Otek not even trying to die that, he just held away, he wants to die as yeah. fast as possible, get into the next game, no SDs in the next game, please. Like, I, I really think that he will stay with Bayonetta, like, there's no reason to switch. This game was basically decided by the first stock and him losing the momentum and, of course, the first stock. Like, he laughed it off over there, if you could see it, but, of course, he's crying inside, right? Yeah, yeah. he started off pretty good with the Bayonetta combo, but then, unfortunately, mm -hmm. SD'd. Yeah, he even met Cloud in a situation where Cloud doesn't want to be, where he has to burn his double jump and he is off stage, right? Especially yeah. Bayonetta is really good at edge cutting Cloud with the extended Nair. That thing is always going to trade with your up B of Cloud. They're both sipping away at their green tea. This is their strength they are looking for right now. They're taking their time with the next pick. Maybe Oltec is thinking about his counter pick. He's probably staying by Yonetta because we didn't hear any character switch, right? Yeah. Oh, Omega, okay. Okay. Uh, it makes sense, right? Like, you, a lot of people, when they say, oh, Cloud's worst stage, what is it? A lot of people like to say Final Destination. Not to say that this is a bad stage for Cloud, right? He can catch your landings fairly easy because they had no platforms to escape from. But usually, whenever people try to think about what is good against Cloud, they think about, okay, take away the platforms. That's going to be step one. 19% out of one side B. That is going to be what is happening in this early oh, game. And then the up airs. Oh, I'll take off stage, but can recover safely. Purple Age uh, has already limit. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost. He, he knew about it. He was a little bit slow on the reaction, though. Like, it was a nice idea, and it was, of course, he had a read, because that is what Otek has been doing for the last two recovers. Yeah, another one. Like, he jumps back from the ledge, and then he goes for a side B. Bayonetta players like to do that, because it takes your disadvantage state and puts into your advantage state. You land behind the opponent, you get a safe back air on shield. If they drop the shield, you get them off stage, right? 
And I have to say that Purple Age is really playing this matchup well. He is patiently waiting out every opportunity that Otek tries to look for an approach. Like he's not overcommitting into any witch times or into any unsafe down as I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, he reads the wall away, which is an interesting option. Oh wow, the bat within hitting that one on the first hit of the side B. Dash attack. Okay, nice dash attack. Uh huh. Oh, a little bit late on the nair right now, but he had the right idea yet again. Forward throw, Cloud was off stage, neutral B is being charged. Nice oh, one. Oh nice from Otek. As said before, Bayonetta edge guarding against Purple Age or whether Cloud is pretty good. Both the RP and the neutral, uh, neutral air are going to really trade well, and they are sending Purple Age off stage where he can't recover anymore without his limit. This limit is really crucial right now because now we have to decide if he wants to use it 140% or Bayonetta or if he's looking for a different kill option. Oh, that was a nice neutral B and taking this stock from Otek. Mm -hmm. He actually covered the landing from Otek pretty nicely there because Otek using his both his side piece and his up he had a lot of landing lag when he came down to the stage. He actually took him out fairly well with that. Oh, oh, nice. And oh, that's the stock from Purple Age. That is a stock and Purple Age recollecting himself on the platform, taking a step back from this game. Yep. It was yeah. a little bit close for the last couple of hits from the side B. Otek looking much better this game. Definitely. No SD here. Oh, you saw the witch time right there. Otek had the right idea. was a little bit slow in the uh, execution. Empty hop, grab. No follow up out of the down throw. It's hard to get a follow up out of the down throw. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, he pressed that button before he saw the up B and he read a landing, but, well, it didn't work out for him. Limit cancel down smash, also a strong option that Cloud has. Okay, Purple Edge is bringing that back really good. Mm -hmm. This next limit, of course, is going to be the decider, or if he gets a back air right now. A very well-spaced back air is taking out Bayonetta at this side. Limit yeah. up the out of shield. Fantastic option. Comes out frame 5, you can do it out of shield, and it kills most characters at 120%. Oh, Purple Age finding himself off stage again. Dangerous position to be in as a cloud. Okay, now it's pretty much even. Mm -hmm. The limit is here, and I think Purple Age is going to use that one for a very hard read. Like he has been, he has not been showing any. I want to lose this limit for a very safe punish kill. I want okay. to use these for the hard reads. Forward throw for the stage control. Not trying for any down throw follow-ups. Oh. So close. No punish on the dash attack, though. <laughs> <laughs> he is so close every game time. Okay, oh, that was scary. It was scary. But Purple Age has been doing that a lot. He waits out the witch time for most Bayonetta players. And I think that's one thing that he is really, really well with in the Bayonetta matchup. He usually waits out whatever his opponent does. Like, he doesn't commit too hard to anything. And that makes him against witch time very well. There again, he just dash dances around, not going into anything, waiting for the witch time to be thrown out. Okay, now Limit Cross Slash will seal the deal. Oh, he tries to go for a jump cancel up smash. Yeah, yep. and there it is. Get up attack being a very dangerous and risky option right now. Oltek went for it all. Like, I think get up attack is one of these options you go for when you're a little bit in a panic mode, right? Yep. So Purple Age taking this 2-0 over Oltek. And here we see the edge guard from Otek onto Purple Age. Up beats him. Fair, fair, fair. And even with the limit, he's still dying off the side. That was pretty, pretty well played from Otek right there on the edge yep. guard. And I think Otek's edge guarding game against Cloud was actually fairly well. It was just that Purple Age, of course, played the neutral a little bit, a little yeah. bit better. Mm, I've heard Oik being called up to the stream. And this is Hollow Man. Hollow Man and Oik, yeah. I think. This is most likely Sheik against Luigi, right? Yeah, Sheik versus Luigi. Mm, okay, interesting matchup. Like, I don't usually see Luigi, like Hollow Man is like one of the only ones I see. Usually. Um, we have in Germany, we have um, Hollow Man.